This is a clip from some lady's video called ASMR tapping. That is, it's a video designed to trigger an autonomous sensory meridian response in a viewer. ASMR is a YouTube genre. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of videos like this that bring low-grade euphoria to millions upon millions of viewers. Crucially, most of these videos feature an inward rolling of the fingers. This gesture is called an inroll for short. And the thing about this pattern is that it's enjoyable. It's very, very pleasant. In short, an inroll sparks joy. It brings comfort. As one of many examples I could give you, here's a clip from a movie with Ben Affleck called The Accountant, in which the main character self-regulates and calms himself with inward finger rolls. Can our son lead a normal life? Maybe he's capable of much more than we know. He does inrolls beside his keyboard. But what if I told you he could spend much of his day doing inrolls on his keyboard? That would be... Excellent. So, this is it. I've experimented with 20 different keyboard layouts recently, and I found this layout to be the most effective and enjoyable, precisely because it maximizes inward finger rolls. To see this, you'll just need a little bit of background. So... Here are by far the most frequently used words in English. And the ones in blue are typed with inrolls in my layout. So for instance, 11 of the top 13 most frequently used words involve finger rolls in my layout. The ones in yellow are typed with alternating hands. And the ones in orange involve an outward roll. So on average, if you look at the top 75 or 100 most frequently used words, uh, you'll find that about three quarters of them involve inrolls when typing them in my layout. So for instance, the and be of me in by an my on he, all, she, or, we, if, why, and so on. Now consider three-letter sequences, also called trigraphs or trigrams. Right here are the most frequently used trigrams in English. That is, out of 14,500 possible three-letter combinations, these ones are by far the most frequent, and you see that the trigrams that are used exponentially more than all the others all involve inrolls in my layout. More generally, over 80% of the most frequent letter trigrams in English involve inrolls in my layout. And finally, let's consider two-letter sequences. Here are the most frequently used two-letter sequences when typing English. And the majority of these are inrolls, particularly in the more frequent form. So of the 676 possible two-letter combinations, the top 10, which are two-letter sequences which are typed exponentially more than the others, the majority are inrolls in my layout. That's also true among the top 25. In the top 50, 42%, about a third of the top 100 involve inrolls. And as you move into the top 125 and 150, you start to fall a bit below a third. To give you an idea of how my keyboard fares relative to other popular alternate keyboard layouts, let's just look at the top 50 two-letter sequences. Once again, 42% are inrolls in my layout, and 20% in the top 50 are inrolls in the Workman layout, and then it drops in Colmac, and Vorak purposely disfavors inrolls. And you'll notice that Workman and Colmac have a bit more outrolls. Well, that's it for now. I'm still learning this new layout of mine, but so far so good. And I'll keep you posted.